Hey, in our safety cabinet, we have these two items. Antiseptic towelettes and antiseptic spray, both used in the prevention of infection. But did you know that steam was used to help prevent infections and surgery back in the 1800s? Stay tuned, I'll show you how on Steam Culture. Hey, welcome to Steam Culture. Welcome back for our longtime viewers. You know, with most things that we enjoy today, there was a starting point that we want to go back in history so that we can fully appreciate it, like this antiseptic towelette that we use to prevent infection. Well, the starting point of this was this good-looking gentleman, Joseph Lister, who was an English surgeon. And back in the 1800s, he was losing about 50% of his patients to post-surgical infection, and he wanted to do something about it. So while he was a professor of surgery at a, uh, at a college, he read Louis Pasteur's work on infection and realized that uh, airborne infection was causing wine to spoil, airborne uh, organisms. So he did some research on that. He found that uh, something called phenol or carbolic acid was used to treat uh, cows for infection and it worked. It was also used to treat these fields that were irrigated by sewage waste to get rid of the stench, which comes from bacteria, right? and there was no ill effects on the cows. So he figured he would combine the two and he started treating his bandages and even the wounds of his patients with this carbolic acid. And it reduced dramatically the, um, the loss. In fact, they went from 50% to 15%. So why am I telling you about this on steam culture? Well, here's why. Because one of the methods he used was this thing called the carbolic steam sprayer. So he filled the vessel with carbolic acid and then he created steam and he would literally coat the operating room with, uh, with the vapor. And the vapor carried the carbolic steam. It literally drenched everyone. It was like a yellow mist, but it reduced infections in the operating room. So this little antiseptic towelette was actually created by Joseph Lister in the carbolic steam sprayer. Now, fun fact, Joseph Lister is the Lister in Listerine. It was actually named after him. Also, they named a bacteria after him, Listeria, which is kind of cool probably if you're a scientist or a surgeon, but I don't think I want a deadly bacteria named after me. So thanks for watching Steam Culture. Come find us for great uh, tips, news, articles, Steam Cultures, Boiling Points. You can find them all on our website. Go search us out. I will see you next week. Thanks for joining us.